Hey guys, what is going on? Thank you for watching and tuning into this product review. Uh, I did do an unboxing. This was while I was inside the gym this evening, but this is to review and also compare two uh, knee sleeves that I own. And one was sent over by Philip over at Casp. Thank you, Philip, very much for the uh, product. Um, I'm gonna do my best to compare these two. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. These are very unbiased reviews, and I will do my best to uh, portray these products. So, for those who do not know, I have been squatting in some Ray-Bans, and also the one that was sent off. Oh man, light went out. Sorry about that, guys. So, as I have been saying, I have been squatting in some Ray-Bans, so I've been squatting in these for about a year already, and they haven't given up on me just yet. And the ones that were sent over was a brand called Casp, and uh, I had the pleasure of using them and reviewing them this evening. Yeah, let's go ahead and get to the product review in itself. All right, first thing I wanted to discuss in regards to this review would be uh, the price and before we actually take a look at the product in itself you are taking a look at a product like the Ray-Bans. The Ray-Bans uh, as a pair they cost $38.95, $39.95 on Amazon and as a pair it really does depend on what size you purchase so uh, for me it's a small probably run me $38.95. For the Casp um, they do go for $49.95 but again if you do have a discount code which is 20% off you could get it for $39.95 the first thing I noticed with uh, putting on these casps was its ability to compress the knee now they are very comparable in terms of uh, the comfort and how it actually does compress the knee with regards to the Ray-Bans now um, again I have been using the Ray-Bans for quite some time and to, tr to use another product it's a whole new different uh, scope for me and it's a whole new different feel so one thing I observed right away though is when I put the cast on was its ability to actually compress the knee and when I put on the Ray-Bans what I noticed is it's very tight not very tight it's tight when I put them on but when they go up to the knee they don't compress as much as I'd like them to. The difference between the two is not that much. It's pretty marginal in terms of comfort and they do seem to fit uh, and feel very similar to the Ray-Bans. great thing that I do really like about it is its color scheme and it went, oh, it went very well with what I was wearing at night which is black. <laughs> so I really do like the color on it and at first, to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you, I, I was taking a look at the product online. I thought that the stitchings were not that great, just from looking at it, okay? Looks can be deceiving, but the stitchings on this compared to uh, the Ray-Bans, they are very comparable and they feel like they're very competitive. Okay, uh, when you do squat in them, they do have a very similar feel to the Ray-Bans. And uh, what I mean, they, as much as they do compress, they feel the same and the comfort is the same. You might be asking yourself, what is the major difference between this and the Ray-Bans? One thing I noticed when I started to go up in the higher weights is that, again, it goes back to the compression. When I started to get to from 225 and then I increased to 285 and then 315, I felt a bigger difference in regards to its ability to finally do its job and compress the knee. Unlike the Ray-Bans, which I feel like I was not uh, supported as well when I was using the Ray-Bans, that is the major difference for me. Okay, Again, I believe that this is a great product. It really does depend on your taste, on what you want to get. Not to mention these are softer and a lot less rigid compared to the Ray-Ban, so um, they haven't started to stink yet. <laughs> That's a great thing, but definitely I would give this product a 5 over 5. And 
compared to the Ray-Ban. And they've done its job in the beginning. I just feel like it's probably lost its elasticity over time. But definitely, I would give the two products two thumbs up. They're both great products. It really does depend on your taste on what you want to get or whatnot. I remember at one point though that uh, Ray-Bans used to run $60 compared to Cast, which went $50. But again, it does depend on your taste. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog or this uh, review. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys did. I appreciate the time that you guys took to watch this. I hope I didn't take up much of your time. I'll see you guys in the next video when we get to hang out again, alright? Y'all take care. Peace.